What's up, fellas? Doing a preliminary test on this here steam shark is what I'm calling it. Or the steam bazooka. I'm not sure which one yet. This job's for Ken. His company needs a very efficient autoclave. So this is going to generate some steam and hot air to do some sterilizing. All right, Ken. So one of the good things we got going for us here is that when it comes to the type of sterilization that you're doing, some molds and fungus actually need oxygen to survive. So because we're going to be pumping a lot of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide gas into this room, into your autoclave bay, we are going to be killing a lot of fungus and mold and stuff from just that alone. So I've always wanted to try this before and see how much steam you can get just from shooting a fire down a tube without having a steam coil on there. I wanted to try and avoid the steam coil if possible to reduce your maintenance, but um, this is just a preliminary test and I wanted to see what would happen. To see what would happen. All right, fellas, so I'm just trying this thing out to see what different settings do. By no means am I considering this thing done. You can see here I've got it propped up in the front end on a piece of aluminum block. It does um, spray like shower hot water from this distance. So it is putting off a lot of heat. It's diffusing with the surrounding air and cooling it off quite rapidly. But um, this is quite a bit of spray. And I feel like maybe some of this spray would vaporize inside the autoclave because it's going to accumulate some heat. But I don't know that for sure. I'm going to check the temperature of this tomorrow. I didn't bother to do it. This test was just to turn the thing on and see if it'll do anything at all. I wanted to check the burn marks on the tube as well to figure out what's the most economical position for the three heat coils because they're kind of expensive and I wanted to know exactly where to put them. So we did gather that information. I'm probably going to end up ditching this spray nozzle. You can see it does issue a nice jet of very hot and humid air, but it's just not quite steam. It's like 190 degrees I could right at the throat there. I could only get about as close as I showed you, otherwise it's too hot. But that right there is screaming hot right at the throat. And this may be enough. I don't know, Ken. We might be able to keep the cost down and uh, just stop right here. I won't know that till tomorrow. And this certainly doesn't exhibit the thermostat equipment we discussed. I'm just trying to get a feel for it and see what it does. So it's definitely very hot water from that distance. And that's diffusing with all this air. And if you've ever experimented with anything like this, you would know that just a little bit of entrained air can cool things down pretty quick. But um, I'm trying to get some good shots of the spray. It's hard to see it. It's so humid out that you're not getting that real good steam effect that you would normally get. It, it really struggles. Okay, so that test pretty much told us where to put the preheat coils. I wanted to try this and see how well it would work without the preheat coils. Before I do add them, I'm going to do another test tomorrow morning when it's not so late. Where I'm thinking about aiming this into a garbage can and seeing what happens with that. It'll get so, Ken, one of the reasons why I was considering doing another test without any further modifications was for the simple fact we got to consider we're shooting hot air into a very small room and that room is going to get hot so the just the accumulative heat in that room alone may start to vaporize a little bit of that excess spray that we see i'm not sure um let me know if you think your autoclave is insulated enough to accumulate some heat and do some secondary steaming so it would act like a sauna in there essentially if we just spray a little bit of mist that mist might further vaporize when it gets into that hot room. We're just kind of spraying it out into the air here, some real humid air. So I'm thinking maybe um, after I do a temperature test on that jet stream to see how hot it is, if it's like 200 degrees, 250 or something, we could probably get away with this thing just as is. But uh, 
As I said, I'm kind of worried about this spray nozzle clogging up from hard water on you. We don't want that. And I'm also going to check the temperature of that discharge gas. I didn't bother to do that, but we will check that tomorrow and see how hot that flue gas really is. It felt um, about four feet away, felt like about 130 degrees. It was about as much as you could stand, like really hot shower water. I would imagine it's way hotter up in this area. I might put my hand in it and move it closer until I can't stand it no more. Just to kind of, this may be suitable if we get a return line on there that pumps the water back to a pump. If we use a pump to do this, I just have it hooked straight up to a garden hose here. But we could use a pump. I could put a small lip at the end of this thing that recirculates that water back to some type of little reservoir or something so we're not just wasting it or um, I think it'd be best just to add a preheat coil to this thing and take the nozzle off of the inside because I'm still kind of worried about that nozzle clogging up from hard water I'm not trying to make this thing run long enough for a video I want it to run for years without clogging up that's why initially I wanted to avoid any coils because uh, I don't want you to have to clean this thing. As long as you're gonna be running it, that could be an issue. So I think we'll add some preheat coil and then ditch the spray nozzle, atomizer nozzle, and use some of that waste heat to try to uh, vaporize the steam a little better. It's so hot and humid out here, guys, you can't really see steam very well. It was like 90 degrees 85 90 degrees and I was doing the test and uh, it gets very humid here so we'll try this again in the morning with it as is and uh, see what type of temperature we got spraying out the other end I think that's just too much water spraying out the other end I feel like it's just gonna end up all over the floor so I am gonna go ahead and just build the coils tonight and I might do one more test spraying this into a galvanized garbage can and kind of like a cyclone configuration see if we get a bunch of steam rising out of the top of that thing but uh i still worry about this this atomizer nozzle clogging up so i'm going to think about this a few hours go ahead and post this video and show you kind of what i had in mind but this is it this way all the waste heat from your burner is going into the autoclave and not flying out the top of your boiler stack. That gas can also sterilize. Carbon dioxide can kill mold.